All the way to the Hall of Fame, all the way to the Raptors here in Salt Lake City at the home of the Jazz. Tonight, it's the home of the big three. Matchup number two, Bull Hogs versus because Jamario Moon is the addition traded from the Ghost Ballers in exchange for Chris Johnson. Josh Childress injured. Uh, of Jamario Moon because she said they desperately need a third score behind Al Jefferson and Joe Johnson. There's Jefferson from ISO Joe Johnson and the former Jazz players doing it to get it started. Sean Stevenson, quick trigger three. Gibson has the board. Joe Johnson fired to get it started. No ISO needed for Joe Pro four. Scalabrini is matched up with him defensively. Johnson on Stevenson with help from Scow. Johnson in tight on Deshaun Stevenson. That looks too easy. I told him I was predicting he's gonna he's going to get eight this week. Joe, no look. Gibson couldn't finish, but draws a foul. So Joe Johnson, four points, and then that opens everything up with a nice look. Oh, camera's gonna find him. He's gonna find the camera. And that was an intense loss. By three to power in an epic battle in Kansas City. Especially when he was playing here with the Jazz, one of the major things on the scouting report in bright red letters is do not fall for his pump face. And then you can... Johnson on Quintel Woods all the way. Draws a foul, couldn't stick it. Joe Johnson and Al Jefferson. Always had the same focus every day. And led by Joe Johnson. Triplets 4 and 1, power 4 and 1. Johnson step back on Quintel Woods. Skates and a triple. Triple. They're, they're getting more than their money's worth. Jamario Moon, first action with the triplets. Trade this week. McDonald's trip. Joe, easiest to his 16. Layup. <laughs> he said, We're going to dunk this last one. You cannot leave Joe Johnson open. Got his feet set. Great look at the basket. And Joe was saying, hey, I'm used to these rims in Utah. And the first play for him on the live to get him going here in the second half. Joe again, 19. Along for a couple of minutes, you got a chance to rest a little bit. You have one hand on the MVP trophy. You drop 23, a lot of points early. I would imagine the gold come out and snuff out any hope for this team who was winless coming in. Yeah, we wanted to uh, jump on them early, you know, kind of, you know, set the tone early in the game. And I thought we did that, especially in the second half. You know, we didn't get a lack of days ago. We stayed with the game plan, and we outworked them. Now, Joe, 20,000 points in the NBA, and you accomplished that in a couple of cities. Give us the scouting report on Utah Jazz fans. What are they all about? Man, they love their jazz. Uh, maybe some of the best fans I've ever been around. I played 17 seasons, so to make a stop here in Utah, you know, playing here for two years, I thought it was great, man. The fans are awesome. You look at them, they came out tonight and, uh, you know, gave us everything. Is there a little extra, maybe concerted effort to get yourself from Lisa's point of view? Get, get Al Jefferson involved, make sure you don't disappoint the home fans. Get you guys, especially Al, because you're going to get yours no matter what. But get Al involved. Yeah, definitely, because he's our horse, man. We got to ride him, and every night he's probably going to have a mismatch because he got such a soft touch in the paint. So we really try to run a lot of plays for him, get him going. And by the way, I said one hand on the MVP trophy. Who's your main competition? I don't know, man. Come on, don't be humble, Joe. I, I don't worry about that, honestly. Man, we got a great team, obviously, adding uh, Jamario Moon. I think it's going to take us over the top, so we're looking forward to that. Joe's doing his thing. Thanks a lot, Joe. Appreciate it. Okay, guys, back to you. Humble Joe. Humble Joe, Salty Joe, 7.